My name is Vance Carrier, uh, my wife Sarah Carrier, and our children Nolan and Emmeline. Uh, we've been attending Front Range Christian Church since November 2014. I have dealt with anxiety almost as long as I can remember. Um, I remember the first time that I really felt and knew what it was when I was about 16 years old. I told a friend once, anxiety feels like home, just because that's it's where I've I've learned to grow up and it's where I kind of, I almost feel less comfortable if I'm not anxious about something. A couple years ago, I'd gone through, I'd gone through a lot of anxiety around like uh, poor sleep habits. A year later or so, um, I had a really bad set of panic attacks where I just started, um, I just, I couldn't seem to get get rid of the anxiety. Begrudgingly, I went and saw a psychiatrist and she um, diagnosed me as bipolar two, as well as um, OCD. And so she started me on some medication. And for the next couple months, I would say it kind of felt like everything was slowly getting better. I wasn't really being honest with my psychiatrist or my counselor. Um, and so I was still living in this really deep depression and really um, high anxiety mode. I remember I had a major panic attack um, to the point that I didn't really sleep that night. Um, Sarah had to like almost restrain me from leaving the house because I was just, I was in complete um, disarray of what I was going through. And I knew that if I left the house that I wouldn't be coming home. I went up to take care of something upstairs and I remember I saw a, pill, a bottle of pills and um, thought maybe that's the right way to go. And thankfully I didn't and thankfully I confessed that to Sarah. I decided to check myself into Denver Springs Mental Hospital. While in the hospital, I mean, I definitely had a, a reckoning where I, I had to really come to terms with the fact that um, I struggle with anxiety and that I struggle with depression and that it's it's kind of a part of my life because I kept always trying to run from it and pretend like, oh, I don't need to worry about it, I don't need to fix it. The greatest trick the devil has is to tell you that you're alone. I'd think to myself, I'm the only one who's going through this. And after finding greater community, I share some of the things I'm fearful of and I find out that so many people have the same fears that I do. I wanted other people to be my savior and really what I needed was someone just to walk through it with me. I think it was seven or eight months ago, I was uh, doing a quiet time and I remember just journaling, why isn't this going away? What, what, like, why can't I, why can't I live a normal life like everyone else? And, and in that moment, I heard, I heard God say, is my grace not sufficient for you? Like, am I not enough for you? Rather than sitting and praying, going, God, take this from me, God, take this from me. Um, I'm struggling with this or that. I, it, it really came down to, God, I'm here and I just want to be with you. I have to tell myself today is a good day. Tomorrow might not be great. Yesterday might not have been great, but today is a good day. Anxiety and depression, while I hope people don't have to deal with it, it's something that you can't just say, great, I dealt with it and now I'm done with it forever. It's, it's just like eating healthy and working out is that you have to continually put the work in in order to see the results.